Hi guys. I was wondering if you guys wanted to go thrifting with me today. Um, kind of a day in the life, possibly. Afternoon. Ooh, sun all in your eyeballs. <sighs> Thought I would bring y'all along with me and do a little snooping in the thrift stores. Um, that's always fun, right? Ah, got my hand all up in you. It looks like a chicken foot. Strange, considering I'm no foul animal. But anywho, I'm hitting the streets and thought maybe you guys would want to come along. It's a little cool out here, but it's Sunday and I just want to... I got an owie. It's Sunday and I want to get out of the house again. Um, I don't have a lot of money to spend because I've been kind of spending like crazy, but let's see what we get ourselves into. Okay guys, I wanted to give you all an update on what's been going on and I've been wanting to do this, but part pride and part just busy nature of mine has kept me from doing it. Um, uh, a lot of you guys supported me so much and y'all just lifted me up during my work search and I told you guys that I had gotten a job that I was really geeked out over but unfortunately that job is not working out the way it should have. I was hired and interviewed for a certain position and the job that I am doing is not it. Um, the job that I have been performing since I've been on duty uh, requires a lot of late shifts, a lot of traveling, and I don't mean out of state, just within city, just a lot of driving. I'm commuting back and forth up to three hours at times, and uh, it's just not what I signed up for. And I held on, you know, I held on and I didn't say anything because my work ethic is one where I know work isn't going to be perfect um, and I have bills to pay and children to raise and the job itself is doable but the more I drove and the later I came home and the more I struggled to have dinner on the table and, and homework done and all it was just it, it started to build on me so I finally had to sit down with my supervisor and as professionally and calmly as I could, I explained to her that the job that I was doing was not what I had been hired to do. Um, things are a bit tense between us now because I honestly believe she did not want to be called out on it. I figure they said what they wanted to say in order to get me in there and once they got me in there, they're just gonna, you know, do with me as they please and that is not how I work uh, like I said I've been maintaining my work schedule and I've been doing everything I can but it is absolutely stressful um, like I explained to, to my supervisor had I been told that this job was going to require the amount of commuting and the amount of hours and the shifts that it is requiring I would not have committed to it because as a single parent I cannot commit to those hours I wouldn't have wasted my time or theirs and I don't think that sat well with her but I can't do anything but be honest with her I can't sit at a job and stress myself out to the point where I become sick and I can't be at a job where I end up burnt out and I'm not doing what I should be doing more so for the clients and for the agency. I work in home health care. And my top priority is that these people get what they need, the care that they need. And a lot of that care is falling on me. Uh, like I said, this is not the job that I applied for. I am doing a lot of hands-on patient care that I was not prepared for. A lot of things that I'm being asked to do for these clients I have no experience in. As a matter of fact, a few weeks ago, I hurt my back trying to move a sweet little lady from her wheelchair to a sofa. I didn't make a big stink about it. I'm not thinking workers comp or anything like that even though I was accused by my supervisor of possibly trying to go that route. I was shocked and insulted honestly but I kept trudging right along with the job because like I said 
I'm supposed to be working. You know, I'm grown, I'm a mom, I need to work. But it's just not at all what it was supposed to be. And I am in the process of interviewing on the sly uh, for other positions. Uh, I have an interview on Thursday for the state that I'm very nervous about but very interested in. As a matter of fact, I'm driving to my old agency to have a few things notarized and to pick up some uh, reference letters, hopefully pick up some reference letters because the state, I swear, runs a background check on you and, and, and it's a hoot. Trying to get into the state is a trip. But um, yeah, I've been applying left and right and um, I'll, I'll try and schedule my interviews as well as I can. I don't like the idea of leaving this agency in the lurch, but I got to put my nice girl uh, persona aside and realize that I wouldn't have to be doing this if they had been upfront with me and been honest about the position that they were hiring for. And what upsets me the most is that I'm sitting here telling the supervisor that, you know, I'm being honest, I'm being polite about it. but. You know, I feel like I was misled. I was absolutely misled in regards to this position, but that I have no problem doing the job as it's being required of me, but I needed to let her know that it's not gonna work um, very well unless I can get more time in the office, which is what they hired me to do anyway. Had I wanted to be an attendant, a hands-on care attendant, that's what I would have applied for at another agency for way more money so it's just not a good place where I'm at I don't like having these types of issues when I have to go to work every day and that's another thing I never know what my day is gonna be am I gonna be in the office am I gonna be taking care of business in the office or am I gonna be shuttled off or expected to drive two or three hours commute to take care of a little old lady in a wheelchair you know it's I don't like the way the office is run. I don't like the way things are working out. And it was a shame because if y'all remember, I was so excited and so geeked out about starting this position. But like I said, I'm not doing that position. I'm basically being pulled left and right to do with whatever needs to be done. And I don't think that's cool at all. But I'm in the process of looking, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I've been wanting to tell you all. But like I said, pride kind of got in the way. I mean, so many of you all were so supportive and praying for me and everything. And I really appreciate you guys. And I ask that y'all get a little prayer circle for me in regards to uh, any new interviews I may be doing. Uh, this one coming up Thursday and all. But y'all are my family. Y'all are my cyber sisters and brothers. And I wanted to share that with you guys. Also, it plays into why I've been shopping a whole lot lately. It's like I'm really, really stressed and retail therapy is no joke. It really does help me. But um, I'm going to get off here. And the next time you guys see me will be in, um, in uh, the thrift stores. I'm swinging by my old agency. They are there for a few hours today. Uh, so I'm swinging by my old agency to pick up a few little papers that I need. But uh, I'll see you guys at the thrift. So pretty, but I would kill myself. Okay, what? What kind of craziness is this? Nope. These are kind of cute. 
too. Really cute. These are eight dollars. Very cute. Six and a half itsy bitsy feet. Nine and a half. Big old foot. Wow, these are so awesome. But they hurt me. So cute. They're super tiny. A little dirty. Can be wiped off, and they're my size. So hippie. Spring step. That's neat. It's a neat looking little shoe. That's different. That's really cute. It's big. But if it were my size, I probably would buy these. Very different. They're a half size too small. So cute. Brand new. Very pretty. Uh oh. These may have to come home with me. So pretty. Let's try them on. Oh, what a tease. How much is this thing? Cool. <clears throat> it's a great little find for somebody with a little bitty guy or girl. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. Somebody was painting their heart out. Okay, guys.
Jeez. Y'all know me in the frame. Ah. No room though. Oh, that's cute. There's another one, and I think it's a set with the other one. Let me pair these together. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted to take both of these. So pretty. I put them together. One was on the other side. I love them. These are pretty. I love the detail. No room. No room for any more of these goodies. Y'all know me in a mug. Oh, it's all chippied. That's good, because I sure would have got that. Lots of cups. No reason why anybody should not have dishes in their home. Unless you're like me and don't want to wash dishes and use paper plates. <laughs> oh. How cute. I need to get this for Grandma. Adorable. This really cute little clutchy. I like this one. I love the color. I like that. I might take this one. This is so pretty to me. It reminds me of a of an Indian sari. So pretty. Teeny tiny, but very pretty. Straight eighties. Torrid. But it's not eighties. <laughs> I'm gonna try it on guys. Just because love the colors. So cute. Okay, time to play dress up. Oh wow, okay. Makes my fingers itch just touching it. Oops. Love polka dots. So classic, so cute. These little balloon jackets. Okay, my love of a crazy jacket is in full bloom. 
but it is too small. But if this was my size, I would so get it. I would so get it. So cute. Well, Goodwill um, was kind of uneventful, which is good financially, I suppose. I didn't pick up too much. I'll show you guys what I picked up either in a haul later or here in the parking lot when I pull into the next uh, thrift store. I'm almost to Thrift Town. Um, I have a little bit of time to kill before I go pick up my little dude. So, um, he's hanging out with Big Brother. Um, which I think is awesome. I mean, an 18 year old and a 5 year old um, getting along is very, very sweet. <laughs> uh, I guess Caleb doesn't make my oldest pull all of his hair out of his head, but they have their moments where they just are crazy about each other. And today is just one of those days. Wow, I had y'all up close. Today is just one of those days where he wanted to stay with Big Brother while I hung out. Now, granted, we were just at the junk stores, as he calls them, yesterday. So he may be thrifted out. I may be getting to the point where I thrift out my youngster. But, um, yeah, he was not interested today. So I'm solo. I haven't been out long and don't plan on being out long. But, like I said, I did have to go and pick up a couple of forms. And all of the thrift stores are within my old agency's area so why not here we are pulling up to thrift town ah, and this person in the parking lot is not paying attention let's get in here and see what's going on as i say in all my tag alongs if y'all don't hear me speaking a whole lot it's because i don't want anybody looking at me funny or telling me to put the camera away which i think is silly at a thrift store because it's not like we're casing the joint We'll go right in. Violet tag is half off today. Violet. Uh oh, but no, I won't get any. Oh, oh, it's too big. That's good. My baby does not need any more vests. Can someone in the back please bring some register paper to the front, please? Thank you. Well, that's a nice little sweater. Small though. Ooh, warm. These would be cute for potted plants, but I don't think so. Put that one. I would stick a flower in there. Mm -mm. Too pricey. Wow. A vintage old timey movie projector. That is so cool. I am these. That is so cool. I don't know if that's a good price or not. It's cool though. This could come in handy for someone like me who keeps tapping the wall in her garage. Not old sewing machine. Another one. Oh my gosh. Look at this guys. It's one of these expandable bowls. It gets bigger the more stuff you put in there. It is so pretty. It's a fish. It's a fishy. You can put it up as art. 
or use it as a bowl. This is so cool. So pretty. It's $3.99. Oh, so pretty. That's tempting. Oh, how cute are those? Look at that. I have two rats in the back. So cute. So cute. So cute. Adorable. Looks good. Takes me back to my childhood. Pretty. I used to collect this stuff and I had the little jam jar but not the spoons. And here is the complete little jam set. How cute! But I don't have any more pieces. Oh well. Oh, that was so good back in the day. So good. Tempting. Oh, those are cute. It's really cute. Little messenger. <laughs> kind of different. Suede center. Hmm. These are kind of pretty in the Sexy grandma kind of way. I like them. Oh my god. And they're my size. So gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hola, guys. Well, here is my haulage back in my tried and true spot. Um, I don't have any daylight because I ran out of daylight. Um, kids are down for the night and uh, I wanted to show you guys what I finally picked up and I don't want to rattle on too long because this video is going to go super long. So I'm going to show you what I ended up leaving with um, the Goodwill. I'm going to show you what I ended up getting at the Goodwill. I did bring these babies home. I couldn't resist them. There were four books. And they're brand new. For some strange reason, a lot of their brand new shoes have the eight written on the bottom. And then the ones that don't have the eight written on the bottom are four. And sometimes I get lucky and find the $1.99 shoes. But I think four bucks for this awesome little shoe is a good deal this is a navy blue and it's cream i think it shows better in the um video but yeah 
I had to bring those home. And you guys saw, excuse me, my allergies are tripping in this weather. And y'all saw me grab these and I've told y'all, uh oh, I may have to bring these home. And I did. These were $1.99. I think these were $1.99. Um, they're Anne Klein, but I love this style of shoe. I think it is so pretty. It's a perfect uh, height. Height, yes, yeah, a perfect height. And I just think they're really, really feminine. And I love the color and the little print on them. Gorgeous. $1.99? Yeah, these were $1.99. Okay, and then the only other thing that I picked up there was this little China cat. I don't know what it is with me and little China cats. Ever since my big girl passed, I have been collecting... <gasps> Duh. Psychological breakthrough, y'all. I've never collected cats in my life. And ever since my big girl passed, I have been buying little china cats. Oh, okay. Anywho, uh, I chipped her. She was banging around in the bag and I chipped her. But she's not broken on the legs. She sits. She's a sitting kitty. Uh, but she's adorable, and I have a small collection of little china and porcelain kitty cats. And when I saw her, him, whatever, couldn't resist it, um, she was 99 cents. That's all I picked up at the Goodwill. And then at um, Thrift Town, I have a purse full of coupons uh, for January that were about to expire, and I kept forgetting about them. So I'm not going to be able to use all of my coupons, but I did use two of them. I had one that was $3 off of a $10 purchase. So I picked up, oh, and the color tag was um, violet. So I don't know how well this is going to show up. I love the detail on it. It's a button down gray long sleeve shirt. It doesn't really show off as neat on um video but the reason i like it is because of the color look at the back it goes from light to dark and i don't know if this is a men's shirt and the reason i say that is because i found this shirt and another shirt that i absolutely know was a men's shirt shoved in a rack of women's clothing like somebody changed their mind and shoved it in there but I loved it and it was so awesome. The brand is INC, the International Concepts, and I have women's clothing in that. I don't know that they make men's, but I love it. I love how it goes from light to dark gray. There's different panels of light to dark and it just fits really well. And one of those pieces you can dress up or dress down. But I got that. Oh, um, it was $3.99, but the purple tag was half off. And I wanted to use the three off of 10. So that's the only reason, only reason I picked these up. Because if y'all have watched me at all, y'all know I'm not going to spend $7.99 on a pair of thrifted shoes. Even when they're this friggin' cute. Look, aren't they cute? And this is the stuff that I couldn't show you because my camera died. But look at them. It's pretty little tweed and then you have the little the little studies and then the little ankle strap has the little studs on it oh my god but brand new they were $7.99 so I figured $7.99 and then with that shirt half off I would tax included make it to 10 and I did so I ended up getting that for seven something um, then I had a coupon five off of 15 or more, and I picked up, I'll show you the clothes real quick, another long sleeve, and they're thin enough where you can wear them in spring, just a very neutral beigey color, it fits really, really nice, long sleeve, no big whoop, but definitely kind of a should have in your closet kind of piece. Oh, that was $3.99. And then, don't laugh, y'all. I found this. It's a squirt. Yes, I know how dorky and square that is, but um, I feel kind of tawdry 
wearing a fitted denim skirt. It's not a mini by any means. It hits me right at the top of my knees, but it's fitted and I have a big booty. So it's already looking like, hmm, you know? So when I wear something like that, I personally feel like a little uncomfortable. So even though nobody else might know that there are shorts built into the friggin' skirt, I know. And it's just real simple. It is from Venezia. Y'all remember that brand? That's straight 80s, man. But I thought it was adorable. It's heavy and it's in really good condition. Like I said, it's not mini. But uh, it looks really, really cute. And it was only $1.99. So, y'all, I went ahead and grabbed that. And I'm looking around, trying to make that coupon work for me. I did pick up this thing. I showed you guys and I told y'all, oh my gosh, I wasn't going to be able to resist it. And I could not resist it. It was $3.99. And look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous. See? You can you can set it <clears throat> excuse me on your table. Oh, I wiggled that. And it sorry. It drops down depending on how much stuff you're gonna put in it. It expands to allow for whatever it is you're gonna put in it, but it's a little bowl. Is it doing it justice? And then if you don't want to use it as a bowl, you just flip it over. Flip the feet. I don't want to knock y'all down. And put it back in. And it is an object, the art. I'm struggling with it. I I've been playing with this since I got it home. And now I can't close it right when I'm trying to make this video. Ugh. Anywho. I'll get the gist of it. It closes up to that. It is so pretty. The wood is so pretty. I love the color of the wood. So awesome. But yeah, I couldn't resist it. There was no way in heck I was going to leave it there because I've seen these in catalogs and I've seen them at furniture stores actually. Um, as little whatnots for tables and stuff. And it was just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how I'm going to display it. Probably as a bowl just because it is so pretty. But yeah, that was $3.99. So I grabbed the fish. And then, um, I found this candle from Tyler Candle Company. Experience the difference. And look, I think it's so cute because it says bougie parfumé perfumed candle. Am I butchering that? But I thought bougie was cute. And uh, it was two ninety nine, And it's brand new. Never been burned. And it smells like soap. That's all. That's the only way I can describe it. It smells like soap, and it's really, really, it's a nice candle. And I've never heard of the Tyler Candle Company, but they make some smelly-fied candles. And then trying to get to that fifteen dollar mark so I could use my coupon, I went into the jewelry, and this sucker just called out to me. When I saw it, I automatically flashed back to my grandma. My grandmother used to love rhinestones. And when she passed, I took a pair of um, rhinestone earrings of hers that I have taken care of forever and ever and ever. I love the look of rhinestones if they're done right. And this ring is old. This ring is old and it's loud and is bold and it's all rhinestoned out. But it's so pretty. And it just reminded me of my grandma. I was like, oh, she would have loved something like that. Heck, she probably owned something like it. But I ain't ashamed of wearing no rhinestones. Y'all see the crazy stuff that I pick up at the beauty supply store, the jewelry stuff. But I wish you guys could see. Maybe I'll put a picture of it just so it can capture all the, the, the gorgeousness of it. But... It's so pretty. I totally geeked out and it was $3.99. So all of those purchases together allowed me to use my coupons. So all in all using two coupons because y'all know me and the coupons. I'll buy one purchase because you can only use one coupon at a time. I'll make one purchase to use a coupon and another purchase to use a coupon. So all in all using both coupons instead of just one coupon for everything I ended up saving like $4 and some cents. But that's everything I picked up. I don't want this video to go way much longer. So thanks for watching. 
me and Ryan Stonia here are going to hang out for a little while, have a late night snack because I'm hungry. Um, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching. For those of you that hung in there all the way to the end, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.